So you follow the best practice and created a date table in Power BI, but when you drag the month name field to any visuals, it is sorted alphabetically. Something like this. While we can agree that this is not perfect, I have some good news for you. We can set up a custom sort order that will fix this issue. Not only that, but the same logic could be applied to other scenarios as well. Like when you want to sort a field not necessarily by a measure or alphabetically. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up in Power BI. Hey, it's me Roland and this is Bilingual Analytics, where I help you to learn more about Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Power BI tutorials. Now let's start by focusing on fixing the sort order for the month name field and then in the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to expand this logic to any other fields in your model. And by the end of this video, you will master sorting in Power BI. If you are ready, let's hop into Power BI Desktop. I have two tables in this PBIX file. The first one is called Invoice Dates, and for the sake of this demo, I manually entered the 1st of January 2022 and the 31st of December 2022, just to cover a full year. The other table is my calculated calendar table with a calendar auto function and a month name field. As another best practice, I marked my calendar table as a date table, so we are good so far. Look what happens when I drag the months field from the invoice dates table to the left hand side. By default, it is sorted properly. When I say properly, I mean the way how months follow one another in the calendar. But when I try to do the same thing with the months name field from my calendar table, it is sorted alphabetically. Even if I click on the name of the column in the table, it is still sorted like that. Which means that we must fix it manually somehow. In Power BI, it's not just drag and drop that you would do in an Excel pivot table, but it's not too difficult either. More importantly, once you set a sort order for any field, you do not have to worry about users breaking that sort order. So let's do it. If you have a look at any free to download date tables that are available on the internet, you will find that all of them have a month ID field, or at least the good ones. If you are not sure which one to use, check out Reza's calendar from Radicad. I have added the links to the description below to both the Power Query script and the DEX script. While I'm not going to use a full blown date table for this demo, let me just add another field called month number. It's a simple month DEX formula. Once that's done, change the default summarization method to do not summarize and add this field to our custom sorting table. This sorting looks much better, but we cannot add the month number field to a visualization as it would look ugly, right? And this is where the sort by column feature comes handy. I click on the month name field, then on the top sort by column and select month number. And now, even if I remove the month number field from my table, the sorting will remain the same. I can even switch from ascending to descending, making December show up on the top of the table. Alright, so we fixed the month's name sorting problem. Great progress. But as I promised in the intro, the same logic could be expanded to any other fields in your data model. So for the second example, I'm going to use a bit more complex model my dummy airline passenger data model. If you want to create your own practice dataset for Power BI, check out this video where I share how to build your own. Let's head back to Power BI. On this page, I have a table on the left and a simple bar chart on the right. Just by importing this data, I wouldn't be able to sort airlines in a sort order that I want. You can see, even if I change the order from ascending to descending, the names still do not correlate to the sort order I have flagged. And the same goes for the bar chart. I can sort it by airline name or by the measure. However, that's not what I want as my end result. But we just learned that by clicking on the airline name field, I can change the default sort order to my custom sort order field. And once I do that, 
all visuals on the canvas are going to reflect that change. Have a quick look at my table. Now it is still sorted by the airline name, but this time it's picking up the right sort order. And the same goes for my bar chart. I did not want to sort it based on the total number of passengers or alphabetically by the airline name. I wanted to achieve a custom sort order that makes sense for my analytics. And with that said, you can see how simple it is to change the default sort order in Power BI to a custom version. This logic could be applied to any fields in your data model as long as you have a dedicated sort order column in the model. Do you like this trick? Have you used it before? Let me know in the comments below along with any other questions that you have about sorting in Power BI. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your reports. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!